All right, so here, here you can see the ooze just coming out from hydrostatic pressure. And this is what I want to show you. This is insane. I've never seen Head it. northwest. I'm, I'm on foot now. This is insane. This is bubbling methane gas. If I put a match to this, if I put a match to this, I could have a little flame here and I could cook a hot dog. Now, I'm not sure I want to do that because if I did that and had a fire going here, I might, maybe, I might get arrested for that. I don't know what they would call it, insinuating an explosion or they might call me some kind of terrorist, you know, but listen to it. Let's see if you can hear it. Hear it? Oh, I'm catching a buzz. Just standing here. Woo, baby! The city of Garfield Heights architects, engineers, and developers were all excited to build Ohio's first major retail development called City View Center. This big box strip center was going to be built on a 40-year-old garbage dump landfill that some sources claim may be toxic. There's also some documented history of a cluster of unusual cancers downhill from this garbage dump landfill. Surrounding homeowners were also happy that decades of horrendous, nasty garbage dump odors and from some internet sources, nosebleeds were finally going to end. Developers bought or acquired this 100 acre property that contained 20 million plus tons of garbage. Everybody was chanting, if you build it, they will come. According to internet sources, in 2001, the City View Center was approved for building on a landfill and a developer was allowed to keep the garbage waste on site. The developer was permitted to create a large mound 1,100 feet long, 400 feet wide, and 60 feet high. This may be the same large mound that you can witness orange toxic liquid oozing spilling over the concrete curbs onto the asphalt pavements after rainfalls. If you step in this, you can bring some orange liquid ooze home with you on your shoes and on your car floor mats. In 2005, I visited this garbage dump. During the If You Build It stage, the contractors were preparing the unstable soil for future construction. When I returned the borrowed hard hat to the construction site office trailer, I asked one of the workers what they were going to do when the new parking lot starts to crack and settle. The answer was, we are going to make so much money here that we will just keep laying down new asphalt. I never did ask my second question about what was going to happen to the older Garfield Heights Strip Center mall that was only a couple miles away. Soon after, they built a 491,000 square foot shopping strip center, and they did come. Big box stores like Bed, Bath & Beyond, Circuit City, A.J. Wright, Office Max, Dick's Sporting Goods, PetSmart, Giant Eagle, Walmart, and many more started opening doors for business. It was a dream come true. This fairy tale starts to get a bit stinky. 
Within the first year, the parking lot started to settle and Walmart evacuated due to supposed methane leaks. I wonder what is this leaking out of here? You guys want me to light this? Hey Dave, you're right. The wise guy from New York. He lost a hundred million dollars and now he's got a bunch of farts. This is like a big fart. It's methane, right? Look at that, three, four feet. That's gotta be four and a half feet right there. That, look at those stairs over there. Look at this, check this out, you're gonna love this. 600 volt exposed electrical line. I don't know if it's live. 